Hi everyone, this is Emily Gerard, and for the social justice video blog, I'm going to be talking with you all today about my personal definition of the golden rule in counseling, as well as several different um, biblical definitions of social justice through scripture, and lastly, the steps that I would take in order to um, bring social justice into the counseling process and in my everyday life. So first of all, I'm sure we're all aware of uh, the traditional golden rule, which is stated in Matthew 7, 12, and it says, so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. And I believe that from the time that we're very little, we're taught this so that we would treat others in the way that we would like to be treated in order to do what is best for everyone. Um, it has also been said that the golden rule for counseling is for us to do as what we would want counselors to do onto us. And this is another great example of a golden rule. For me personally, I think that as Christ followers, our golden rule should be to um, have God and to have Christ to be our example. In Ephesians 5, verses 1 through 2, it states, Therefore, let us be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave up himself up for us. So if we are to be Christians and to love others, um, we are supposed to be imitators of God. And instead of approaching any relationship, especially a counseling relationship, um, it is important to approach this relationship without a preconceived notion of who the other person is, what exactly they've experienced, and um, instead of judging them for maybe where you think they've been or where they may be going, I think it's important to meet them exactly where they are and just show them that Christ-like love, uh, regardless of anything you think uh, of them upon meeting them. And... Um, there's several examples in scripture that point to social justice. Uh, for example, in Galatians 6, it says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. As well in, as uh, Isaiah 1, uh, verse 17, it says, Seek justice, encourage the oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, and plead the case of the widow. So, I mean, this can be seen throughout the entire Bible. Um, you know, we are to do good to others as Christ has to us. And just using him as an example can really bring about social justice, not only in counseling, but um, in our relationships with each person that we encounter. And um, I think that a very important step for me to be able to take personally uh, in improving social justice is just being self-aware um, being culturally competent and then having that self-awareness to know that um, what my own biases may be or assumptions I may have about others and just really paying attention to the vocabulary that I use and how I approach people who are different than me because I think you really need to, as a counselor, consider where you have come from, the experiences that you have been through, your own personal values and um just be able to separate that and be able to treat that person as an individual and to remember that um, it's not all about what you have experienced or what you have been through, but it is about what is best for your client and not doing harm to them through judgment or assumptions and instead being intentional with your approach in them and just valuing them as a human being. So overall, I think social justice is a very important topic for us to focus on, and I think it's a really great way for us to close out this semester in this class. So I look forward to listening to all of your videos, and hope you all have a good day.